We Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. Hello, guys. It's XN Shadow, and welcome to the newest stream. And by newest stream, I mean the only stream right now. Now, hold on a second. I need to, um, I need to briefly, uh, I need to briefly uh, announce this on Twitter. So just give me a second to do that. Um, for the, all of the people who are watching the playback uh, on YouTube after this, I always um, I, I always uh, announce these things on Twitter. Uh, I can't uh, do uh, uh, I can't process a, U, uh, a YouTube video to announce these things so fast because I usually decide like uh, a half an hour before I want to stream that I want to stream. So, if you really want to watch this, I would highly recommend uh, following my Twitter feed. That is, uh, without a doubt, the most reliable way to um, uh, be able to catch my streams as I do them. So, um, with that said, um, I think we should finally start playing some Super Castlevania 4. So, I am going to load up the game. I said load up the game. Wait, hold on a second. I need to... Uh, fuck, where the fuck is the... Okay, there it is. I need to minimize something. Okay, never mind. Now we can load Super Castlevania 4. Okay, here we are. Um, Now, I'm not a huge Castlevania guy, but Super Castlevania 4 is probably the best game in the series that I've played so far. So I really do, I really do enjoy it. Um... I wouldn't say it's like it's a perfect game or anything like that, but it's definitely a very enjoyable one. And it also has one of my favorite um, things in games. If I... No, I want it stereo. If I want to listen to a piece of music, I can just pick the sound test right away. See? I don't need to... No, wait. Hold on. Where the fuck is Bloody Tears? Oh, well, see, if I want to listen to Vampire Killer, I can just listen to Vampire Killer, you know? It's just stuff like that. Love stuff like that. Anyway, let's just play this bitch. Um, I did a little bit of... No. I did a little bit of practice before this, but that was only really just me fucking around in the, um... Fucking around in the first section. I really haven't done anything real yet. Actually, hold on. Um, just... I can't tell if the, the stream is... The stream seems to be running live. Uh, seems to. Okay, you guys type things so that I know that the, the stream isn't dead, okay? Um... Moving on. Okay, so... Ooh. Scary guy. Woo. And a knife. Oh, I have I have hearts. I thought that I didn't have hearts at the moment. Oh well. Yeah. Jump. Now that moon. Now that moon. I'm pretty sure is going to be inconsistent later on because I'm pretty sure it's not a crescent moon later in the game. But whatever. So anyway, awesome music time. Castlevania. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the series, like I said before, but Castlevania does have amazing music all the way through. Anything I'll to hear more. No, uh, just, this, the reason why this is the only game I give more than a shit about is because, look at this, control, control, wonderful, wonderful control. If I want to jump and then turn, I can do that. Up. Why can't I always, why can't I do this in other games? It's like, yeah, I can do that. Love, love, love the way this game controls, it's awesome. So yeah, uh, let's just keep on moving forward. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to fill uh, the space where I'm supposed to be talking, but whatever. Um, now, yeah, uh, this was a launch title for the Super Nintendo, I believe. If not launch, then re was released relatively close to launch. So, uh, for, like, for an early SNES game, I do think that this did a good job of showing off the system. Oh, I didn't know there was a, a, a flash bomb there. Um... I, the, for, an very, for an early SNES game, I think this game does a really good job of showing off the system's capabilities. I mean, for the first part, you can do with your whip, which is super cool. And I'm pretty sure it had to be impressive for the... I don't want that axe. Um, 
You can get meat out. I guess I I want meat. Ow! Fuck! Yeah, uh, I should warn you right now that I'm normally not very good at Castlevania, but on top of that, I'm using my Xbox. I'm using my USB controller, which is an Xbox controller. So, and that does not have the best D-pad for this sort of thing. So while I'm going to do better than if I were using, say, like a, a keyboard or something, I'm not going to be playing at my best, and my best really isn't all that good to begin with. So, um, expect flat uh, fail. Now look at that, they have like actual physics for this whip, see if you hold it down the button it like actually does things, and that's really cool. This game's cool. Now hold on, if I remember this is the part where you do your Indiana Jones wings, uh, yeah, that's where you do your Indiana Jones, uh, why, why did I think ring, that's what I was supposed to say, ring swingy thing of a fucker. Wee. Now if I remember correctly, they don't really... Get, get on there. You have to be really precise to get onto that, um, onto that ring. Now, uh, yeah, I don't think they do a whole lot with that, but it's cool, and so it's cool, and that's all it really needs to do. B. Whatever. Now, it's really odd that, uh, what I always thought that was odd is that this theme ended up becoming Simon's theme, when, uh, Vampire Killer, I thought, would probably end up being it, or is Vampire Killer just, like, the Belmont family's theme, because that's kind of a cop-out. I mean, like, it's the first theme you hear in the first game, so I guess that's sort of why you would automatically think that, but then again, if they just want to say, this is your theme song, then this is your theme song, I guess, you know, can't argue with that. Oh, they do keep the moon the same uh, shape. Look, look at that. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to keep an eye out for it in later uh, stages and see if it's um, see if it's uh, a change there. Though I think once we get to the castle, we don't actually need to. Um, uh, uh, fucking horse heads! The set of the Godfather called. They want you back. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is um. The, once we get to the castle levels, I don't think we go outside again after that. Um, do we? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway... Uh, hello people. I, I will have to say that I'm not going to be as attentive to the comments section in this uh, playthrough as I was when I was doing Fire Emblem, because... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, because it's an act it's a it's a pl action game, so I actually need to pay attention to what's going on. Oh look at that, Medusa heads! Piffed! I laugh at your Medusa heads. Look at all this. I can just go like with my whip and then I'm totally cool. Okay, so this is a ghost. We now, the one thing that's kind of lame about the sh of the whip is that it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's still it's still useful for, like, blocking shit and stuff, and it just looks cool. I mean, bring it around town. It's just, and watching uh, a Simon's arms when he's doing it just makes it look like he's having a seizure. Or a very localized seizure, though. Also, it's very good for doing that. Now, but yeah, the game's trying to trick you there. You don't want to jump on these things, because then you will die. Yeah, you can't, you can't, uh, one thing is that you can only whip down when you're jumping, but that's really not too big of a deal. Other than that, the game control's pretty damn good. Simon is a little stiff, but I guess that's just more due to the type of game this is. It's like, he's not as fluid as, like, Mario or something. Own you... Own you, own... I can't... I can own you with the knife, dude. This is sad. Yeah, see? Lame. dun 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 tea bag Awesome! And, yeah, we get points, which do not... Well, actually, I think points give you extra lives in this game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's stage two, nobody cares. Now, this is another really underrated theme, the Forest of Monsters theme. Um, I really like this one, because, I mean, like, listen to that funky bass line. And nobody ever, uh, uh, talks about this song, though, so, meh. Now, uh, I'm thinking about, uh, I, I got the, I was thinking about Super Castlevania 4, because a couple of friends on a forum that I go to 
were talking about Egoraptor, and I was sort of just thinking about his uh, sequelitis uh, thing, so I was I figured I got into the mood to play some of this. And I don't know, is is he normally makes some pretty okay points, but I still I really disagree with him on his Castlevania and Super Castlevania one because I really feel like he's missing I really feel like he's missing sort of the bigger picture here. Like, his base, his point was basically that the game wasn't designed as well as uh, Castlevania 1. And I don't really think that's true, for, uh, though. For the first, uh, for, to begin with, like, this game it has pretty much a uh, pretty similar level design than Castlevania 1. It's very similar, but it's also a lot more forgiving than Castlevania 1, which I think is a good thing. Um, but uh, is, other than that, his only real problem with it was that it was a, was a really, even by my standards, a really big nitpick about the sub-weapons, and that they were pretty much useless. And while I'll agree that they were useless, that's not really enough to detract from the game as a whole, though. I mean, like, this is a really fun game because of Simon's, um, inherent abilities, like the whip and stuff. Like, the whip's really good in this game, that's what makes it fun to play. You can do stuff with the whip. That Does that mean that having sub-weapons there makes the game poorly designed? No, not really, it's just an extra thing. Like, if you need to throw something, if I want to throw an axe, I have an axe to throw, you know? It doesn't detract anything from the game to have these things be here. And it... And, yeah, yeah, I just don't get that. The game just controls better, it's more fun, and the game just controls better, and 9 times out of 10, as if the game controls better, it's probably going to be a better game. There have to be, like, serious design issues for a game that controls better to just be uh, a better game. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a, uh, of a good example here, because, like, um, like, okay, oh, I'm sorry. It, 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 it takes some, like, extremely bad design decisions for a game that controls worse to be considered a game that it controls better. And for the most part, I'd say that Castlevania 1 and Castlevania 4 have uh, equal uh, design, like, stage design. It, most Actually, most of the time, I'd say that Castlevania 4 has better design, just because it's not so ball-bustingly difficult and annoying. Um... It, it, it came off as a complaint, though. That's the thing, he said it was, he didn't say it was a bad game, but he definitely, even if he didn't say it out loud, he definitely implied that Castlevania 1 was better, and he's just, I'm sorry, it's just wrong. I mean, the game plays, it plays just fine, the level design's just fine, the game works, so why, yeah. Ow, ow. I think if I had the cross, I could just take care of the snakes with the cross, but I don't, so I'm gonna have to swap between throwing knives. See, like, look at this! I don't even have to try because I have a throwing weapon. sub -wep yeah. Sub-weapons are useless in Castlevania 4. Totally. Meh. Yeah, see, look, like, look at how awesome I'm using this thing. That, I think that's why this game has better design, because... Okay, uh, this, uh, here's the thing about Castlevania 1. The sub-weapons were essentially mandatory if you wanted to beat the game without uh, tearing your hair out. Like, if you wanted to beat death, uh, like, trying to beat death without using, uh, was it holy water? I've never gotten that far in Castlevania 1, but, uh, that, uh, I hear from everyone that it's frustrating as fuck trying to beat death without the holy water. The game is, des in Castlevania 4, no, I mean Castlevania 4. Castlevania 1, the game is designed that you need sub-weapons. But the thing is that sub-weapons aren't like... It's not like a Metroid game where you keep these weapons as soon as you get them. You can lose your sub-weapons, so... Having the game be rely... Having, you, having the game be designed around... Around the weapons that you... Uh, that you might or might not have really just makes it frustrating when you don't have them or when you lose them or when you die or something, you know? In this game, sub weapons are uh, the sub weapons are a power up, and they're treated like power ups. Meaning they can make your journey easier, they make it more bearable, but they're not necessary, or they're not so helpful that they might as well be necessary. I think that that makes this game better designed. I find it's just it, the game isn't doesn't the game lets you go forward just with Simon's natural abilities. You don't have to rely on the sub-weapons. 
Now, interesting t uh, trivia here. These little drops of water are uh, acid blobs in other versions of the game. I think it was the Japanese version. Maybe the European version? Not quite sure. But, yeah. That's your trivia for today, I guess. Oh, slow down. Guess the Super Nintendo can't handle it all, can't quite handle that much uh, on the screen at once. But whatever. Now, yeah, see, if I were, if, if I were playing at the other versions of the game, I'd take damage from walking in them. But in the, uh, in the US version, which is the version I'm playing, um, it's just a cosmetic detail. So, yeah. I w I'm not gonna lie, when I first played the game, I thought that I was supposed to dodge them, because they just... It, it's Castlevania, so you assume that everything's trying... Yeah, see, look! Not useful at all. Wait, hold on. Yeah. See, look at how not useful these uh, axes are. I totally t I'd take damage if I were if I had to if I had to jump down and hit that, but I didn't because I used the axe in a smart way. See, yeah. This game is totally badly designed because the sub weapons are non-mandatory. Yeah. Fuck you, Ego Raptor. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just he's been pissing me off lately. Apparently they are making, uh, they did make another 2D Castlevania game uh, for the 3DS one, I think. Though I heard really mixed reviews about that game. <clears throat> uh, I, like, I heard it wasn't very good, or it either it was like, I hear like it's either good or it's either really good or really bad or just sort of okay. The reviews for that are all over the place, so not really sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though, to be honest, I, th I really would prefer, I, I really would like another, uh, just like, a linear Castlevania game. But, it it's, I don't think it's gonna happen, just because the Metroidvania stuff really is doing a whole lot better. I, I, I also think that Konami's gonna stick with their new timeline for Castlevania, the Lords of Shadow one. Which I know people hate, but, uh, I guess what, if they, if they've already committed to it, they might as well go all the way, right? Ow, oh, god damn it. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, what exactly was it about Lords of Shadow that made people not like it so much? Because, like, from what I, um, gathered, it was just sort of a, it was just sort of a God of War clone. And I, I mean, I understand that that's not what people want from a Castlevania game. But was, like, the God of Warness not well-designed or something? Or was it just that people didn't want that out of their Castlevania game? Because, I mean, like, both are valid complaints. Because, um, I mean, both are definitely valid complaints. It's just... I've never really been quite sure what people what people's main problem with uh, Lords of Shadow was. Because it seems to differ from uh, person to person. Now, if I remember correctly, this room follows Contra logic, meaning that if I fall, I die, even though there are platforms that could save me. Actually, I'm almost positive that this, um, that this room, uh, I, I, I'm almost positive that this, uh, room follows God of War. Oh, thank God! The Belmont back, the, the Castlevania back, uh, uh, the knockback actually saved me for once. Whew. Okay. Now, level three, I think, is the air. Uh, when I'm playing this on uh, the super on the virtual console, I believe that area three is the area where I start dying, and then uh, also the area where I turn the game off because I start dying. That's just a bad habit with me in these sorts of games. As soon as I start dying, I lose my motivation to play, and okay, here we go. Uh, uh yeah. Uh. Oh. Let me finish my train of thought. Gosh, me, stop interrupting me. Um, as soon as I start dying in games like these, I I just, I, st I want to turn the game. I just want to turn the game off because you know it's just like, oh my, I I, I get really discouraged. Is the this? Yep, contra syndrome. Knew it. <sighs> Fuck. Damn it. Now I'm stuck with my little wimpy small whip. Thankfully they um. Uh, Thankfully, they always give you the power-ups, like, in the first couple of candles that you run, run across in the room. So it's really never too big of a deal when you die, but still, it's annoying. Shouldn't have died. 
I also believe that this Castlevania game also gives you enough lives to play it, uh, to play it comfortably, too, so... That's a, that's a good thing. Let's see, yeah. Uh, dip. There we, okay, see, there we go. I'm already, it's only been like 30 seconds and I'm already back at full. Though to be fair, I guess they should have just made the, the long whip his standard whip, because it's not like you're going to be, uh, it's not like you're ever going to not have, uh, the whip power-ups, but, uh, whatever, small complaint. That's it, yeah, it, I mean, your whip should, I think, yeah, your whip really should just be this size to begin with, because you almost always have it at this size anyway. But, yeah, again, that's, that's a nitpick. It, when even I admit that it's a nitpick, it really is a nitpick. Because I'm king of nitpickers. I pick nits to, I pick nits for fun. Rip da. Now, I never quite understood what those things are supposed to be, those little balls. Are they, like, spiders or what? Well, I guess they're, they're not spiders. They're uh, Dracula's minions or something. I don't know. Jump! Ooh! Ugh. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Is there meat? Oh, wait, I don't need meat. I'm at full health. It's weird being at full health. It's just, Yeah, it's just weird. I always expect to get hit at least once. Um... Uh, I'm in the third level. Uh, yeah. There's a lot. You see the little, uh, the thing at the top right of the screen? Uh, block 3-2. That's the level I'm in right now. I'm in level 3-2. Now I'm in level 3-3, which is where I really start to die a whole lot. We're almost done with the, uh, outside sections of the game. The game's really separated into two halves. Uh, outside Dracula's Castle and inside Dracula's Castle. This is the second no i don't think it's the second to last but it's one of the later levels in uh in the outside portion of the game ow god damn it snakes yeah see this does shit for damage but it keeps them from it keeps them from shooting things at me and there we oh it must have been money or something Okay, now, uh, other than the beginning of this track, like, I remember the beginning of this track, but other than that, it's pretty, uh, forgettable, I'd say. Not all of them can be winners, I guess. Unless if you're the Banjo-Tooie soundtrack, every, every track in the, in that game is a winner. Like, I remember this part, the do 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 Oh, the fucking, uh, spitting mermen, uh, mermen. Ooh, -hoo. The hitbox on that spit, uh, on that line of spit is... Uh, always really weird for me. Like, I, I never know where it's going to hit. See? Ow! God damn it! Fuck! Ah. Stupid line of spit. It's gross. Like, I'm never quite sure when it's actually supposed to kill me. Uh, when it's actually supposed to... Hey! I never know when that line of spit's actually supposed to... When it's actually dangerous or when the, the danger period has worn off on it. Ow! The, no, the hitbox, the hitbox isn't bad. It's just hard to hit them. Like, uh, uh, cool Mario, you asked about the hitbox on Mr. Patch's and uh, the Mr. Patch boss fight. The hitboxes are just fine. If you hit the patch, the patch will explode. The problem is, is that the, it's, they're really small, and, um, and Mr. Patch is always moving. That's what makes the, that boss fight so annoying. It's not that the, the hitboxes, uh, it's not that the hitboxes are buggy in any real way. Uh, that's not to say that, uh, that's not to say that the boss fight isn't hard or isn't challenging, it's just, it's not a hitbox problem, it's just a he moves too fucking much problem. Now, I think if you keep moving, you'll generally be fine with the, uh, with the, the, with the merman fish. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Never, oh, no, oh, phew, I almost lost that power-up. Uh, yeah, I am not skilled at this game. <laughs> I, I, I've died here. This is like the second time dying in the same spot of the level. So yeah, uh, I've warned you guys at the beginning. But I love, I love, uh, the, I love the... I warned you guys at the beginning. I like this game, but I'm terrible at it. Ow. 
Ow! Fuck! God damn it! Stupid fucking mer- Hey! Where the fuck's my whip upgrade? You dropped one last time! What's the deal, game? Gosh! Ugh. Oh, there it is. Okay, you are spared for now. No, I just gotta my whip until he dies. Oh yeah, meeting Chugga was a blast. Um, this is the first time I really got to speak seriously with Chugga Conroy, because I, I met him at PAX East last year, but I only really talked to him for a couple of minutes, so... This is the first extended uh, discussion. That was the first time I had any sort of extended discussion with him, and it was cool. He's a really nice guy. So I, I really did uh, enjoy uh, speaking with him. Okay, so there we go. Now I can finally make some progress in the... Uh, phew. Uh, I, I finally made some progress in the fucking level. Speaking of Momocon, though, I can't wait until we actually get to uploading the, um, Momocon footage that we've done. It's... I really, I really do, do like the stuff we did, uh, there. Especially the Mario Party. Um, the Mario Party... Oh, God! No! Fuck! Damn it, guys! Stop distracting me! Yeah. Anyway... Yeah, see, I'm dying quite a bit here. Um, let's see, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I can't wait till the Momocon stuff starts getting uploaded, because... Oh, what? It, it's touching it! See, look at this! The whip is touching the ring! Meh. What was I gonna say? Again. Alright, um... It's a very strong possibility that the Mario Party 4, one of the Mario Party 4 boards we did, is the funniest thing we've ever, uh, recorded as a group, Brain Scratch. I'm not even joking. Um, it's, I can't wait to, till the, till the Momocon stuff gets uploaded. It's, I loved, I loved being there, and we recorded some really great stuff on our off time. Yep, that, ooh. Okay, so wait, now I gotta kill this yeah, see, look at how useless this axe is. This axe never does anything useful, gosh. Oh, god damn it! Uh, being honest, I'm not sure how we're going to. I'm not sure how we're going to upload, uh, deal with that. It's, uh, just... Uh, we're I think we're just gonna, I... If I remember correctly, we're gonna have, uh, Return to Dr Kirby's Return to Dreamland be our sort of, like, main feature commentary, uh, after Luigi's Mansion and Mega Man 10 end next week. But other than that, I'm not really sure how we're going to handle it. I think I have a- I- I'm not sure. I don't think we've really planned it out all the way just yet. Yeah, look at how useless this axe is. Sub-weapons in Castlevania 4 might as well not even be in the game. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, I should probably get on the... I should probably get there. Yeah. Fucking Ego Raptor. Doesn't know what he's talking about some of the times. I did not mean to do that. Game. Okay. Come on. Yeah, see, look at all the hearts I got by doing that. See? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking stairs. Yeah, the, the stairs are a little bit less uh, annoying in this game. Oh, oh, go. <laughs> um, but they're still pretty goddamn annoying. Yeah. Oh, good. That's not a that's not a background object. That's a that's an actual stage architecture thing. Um, I'm never. I'm not. I'm, I'll never say never for uh for brain scratch, but probably not for some time. Uh, Ryan doesn't like Banjo Kazooie because he doesn't like he doesn't like nice things, and um, Ryan and jo Ryan and Lewis haven't played it. I mean, John and Lewis have not played it. Ryan just doesn't like nice things. So, uh, I wouldn't expect it for a while, if at all. Uh, I'm not going to say it won't happen, but I don't think it'll happen anytime soon. Is just basically what I'm saying here. See, look at how helpful this axe is. Does not know what he's talking about. 
Oh yeah! Oh, oh! I messed up my chance for a badass catching, um, badass catching pose thing. Whatever. Okay, so four is the last stage before the uh, boss. No, oh wait, no, this is the one where you go up the tower and it has the spinning rooms. Okay, never mind. My bad. Now, if you look at the skull right here, he's following where you move. That's really cool. Ow, oh, fucking swords. Ow, ow, my, sh my shins. My shins. Okay, wait. There's health down there. Also, a creepy dude who... No, wait, never mind. There is no health down there. I lie. I am a liar. Lying, lying, lying. Okay. Now, hold on, I'm pretty sure there's health somewhere around here. What's with the creepy dudes in the walls? What, were there like life forms in the walls and they just ate, uh, they, they learned how to eat off of the wall meat and have evolved into another species or something? What? Okay, come on. Oh, fuck. And, okay, there we go, and up we go. Now, uh... Ow, oh, oh, damn it! I hope I don't get a game over. Actually, you know what? I might as well just get a game over. Because, um... That, yeah, continue. See, I might as well just continue with full li uh, lives right here. Since, it, you know, it is the bit very beginning of the... S it is the very beginning of the stage. So, it's a better to... Oh, that was just heart. Never mind. Um, uh, I don't even, uh... I don't even know what his problem with it, uh, with Banjo Kazooie is. It, his arguments never seem to make much sense to me. So being honest, I, th I think he's talking more about uh, Kazooie than Tui, and I really like I like Kazooie a hell of a lot more. I mean, I like Tui a hell of a lot more. Tui is like my fa one of my all-time favorite games, but I'm pretty sure it's just that Ryan doesn't like nice things. Though I believe uh, Mario 64 nostalgia does play a part in it. So honestly, I, I I know I'm going to sound I know I'm going to sound blasphemous here, but I don't think that Mario 64 is held up all that well. It's just I don't like Mario 64 very much. It's just ve I find it very very bland. No, uh, uh. So I wonder who's um, Hamlet would hate this stage because it's like Yurik, is that you? No. Okay. Yurik, that you? No. Okay. And then you keep on be looking for them, but none of them are Yurik. It's just like, alas, I haven't known any of you guys. Where the fuck's Yurik? I want to find you. Okay, so let's see. Um... Well, they gave me the axe, so I might as well take the axe. Better than the knife, anyway. You know, I don't think I've ever heard the second half of this song. I've always died before I, I, I got... I, I started playing. I have never heard that ending- OH GOD DAMN IT! LANDED ON THE STAIRS! <sighs> Fuck! Okay, well, let's just keep on moving. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, oh, I love Banjo- I love both games' soundtracks, don't get me wrong. Um... That's actually one point where I don't know whether- which game I like better is on the soundtrack department. Because on the one hand, I have a soft spot for Banjo-Stooie's soundtrack, because that was the game I played most as a kid. But on the other hand, I do acknowledge that Banjo-Kazooie has some very, very excellent uh, tunes. So I, I just sort, they just sort of even out as a tie for me. I'm not sure which one I like better on the soundtrack department. That's pretty much the only uh, one in this. That's really the only place in the series where it's a tie for me. But overall, I do think I like Tui more than Kazooie. Now, you see, all of you people are going off on Click Clock Wood, but I actually think that's the most overrated song in Kazooie's soundtrack. Um, uh, what's my favorite Kazooie song? Uh, oh, no, wait, Gruntild Gruntild Lair is also a pretty overrated one. Um, Mumbo's Mountain is really good from Kazooie. Um, I also really like, um, what's his face? Um, I can't remember. Uh, Mad Monster Mansion's uh, really good. Um, come on! Oh fuck! 
fuck. Uh, no, the final battle's a little bit too long for my tastes. It's like, it's like a three minute long song, and it has no real, uh, climax until the very end, so... I'm not too big of a fan of the final battle theme. It's, uh... Uh, Spiral Mountains, uh, well, Spiral Mountains more a theme from the series in general, I'd say. Um... Oh, fuck! Fuck! I warned you guys, I wasn't very good at the- Oh, God, God damn it! Okay, yep, that's it. Time to die. <laughs> Let's try this again. Are there any cheat code, uh, passwords in Castlevania 4? Because that's one thing I am not quite sure about. Um... I'm not quite sure if there are, are, are cheat codes in this Castlevania game. Um, well, the thing about uh, Banjo Tooie's uh, first-person shooter sections is that it was basically the Golden Eye. It was. How the fuck did I not fall there? Um, uh, back on topic, ba Banjo Tooie's first-person sections were Golden Eye. It was the same exact engine, the same exact control scheme. It was basically just a Golden Eye with a bear and a bird. So, yeah. Uh, the, 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 I liked the multiplayer, I liked the multiplayer for the first-person shooter games, but the problem was that, um, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? I forgot, um, I, yeah, I just completely forgot my point. Oh yeah, that's it, uh, and Banjo-Tooie, the first-person shooter sections, uh, during the actual levels where you had to do first-person shooter things, I really didn't like those. Those are probably my least favorite parts of the game. Just because- OH GOD DAMN IT! I PRESSED JUMP! Just jump. GAH! Ugh. Game! I swear I'm not normally this bad. Not normally. But then again, I haven't actually beaten this game, though. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't... I don't think I have... Have I beaten this game? I really can't remember. Something's telling me that I haven't beaten the game, because if I can't remember getting to the credits, I probably haven't gotten to the cre... Uh, I have probably haven't gotten to the credits, so... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. Much better. Wait, what the fuck was up with that? Uh, never mind. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I have not beaten- Okay, yeah, I can, I can say positively. OH GOD FUCKING DAMN IT! That same fucking jump. Okay, you know what, that's it. This level is going to be made my bitch. I am going to fuck this level up the ass and kick it in the ass. And, and beat it and win and be happy. Hey, duh. Stupid level ran. Stupid jumping platforms and it's nah this level is going to die a horrible painful death yeah um, I'm gonna be honest I haven't ever played conquer conquer is one of the uh, I, I was like what nine when conquer came out so yeah my parents were gonna weren't gonna buy me that and um I just never really got to play it after the fact because finding a copy of conquer is almost impossible and even when it is, the game runs for a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, uh, that's something I'm gonna need to find at a convention one day, and hope that I can get it for like 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah. See, okay, yeah, see, you have to use the... the whip to whip up and save yourself. And the... So how come I had no trouble that time? Oh, the game's moving automatically for me there, okay. Yeah, this is the one with, this is the level with the spinning room, I remember correctly. Now all I have to do is just not die for the remainder of this world, and then I'm set. Uh no, I haven't played Resident Evil 4 yet. I'll get to it eventually. I'm just I'm really just not all that interested in it at the moment. It's I've never really been too big of a fan of, like, survival horror, and, and really just, like, so I've never really, uh, had too much of an interest in third-person action games anyway, it's just, it just doesn't seem like the type of game I'd enjoy, so that's why I've been holding off on playing. Oh, God! Eh. 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 
So yeah, um, hold on, is um, oh yeah, I've got to swing over to the right here. No, I believe, oh wait, yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, that's a, that's a death trap, you gotta stay on it until the game, uh, brings up this platform for you. Never mind, it's a good thing I, uh, didn't jump for it yet. MODE 7! Just in case you weren't sure that this wasn't, uh, this, uh, in case you weren't sure that this was a Super Nintendo game, now you know, oh, god damn it! They're better, okay, good, there's a, there's a checkpoint here. Yeah, but yeah, this is, this is blatant Mode 7 abuse, which is one problem I have with early Super Nintendo games, is that they love to abuse the fuck out of this Mode 7 shit. And it's just, it's really not all that impressive. I don't even think it would have been all that impressive back then. I mean, it look, I, I guess the, the fact that it looks kind of like a 3D object is pretty cool, but other than that, it's just, well, lame. Yeah, that's a good word for it. It's very, very lame. Oh, the eh, eh. Come on, just keep on going. This, this section isn't too long. See, as soon as I get to the end, yeah, see, the, the rotating room's gone for no explain, uh, no explained reason. How many lives do I have left? One? Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, so wait, this room doesn't run on Contra Logic, but the other one does. Okay, okay, whatever, game. Whatever. We'll play by your rules if you want to. <laughs> okay. Ow! Fuck. Stupid bats. Fuck you, bats. Who asked you to come? It's not like the effect's bad, it's just... lame. There, there's a difference. Um, and it's just not very impressive, it's just... It's one of those things where you can tell they wanted to use the... C they wanted to use the Mode 7 chip because they wanted to use the Mode 7 chip, not because it would make an effect... not because it would be a cool gameplay thing, or even just a cool graphic thing. It's just, it's a random rotating room that exists for no reason, and then is uh, forgotten as soon as it comes in. The Mode 7 in Final Fantasy VI was pretty cool, but that's because they used it effectively. They used it for their airship in a way that made sense. That's what made Mode 7 in Final Fantasy VI cool. In this game, it's just, here, have a spinning room. And then that's about it. You know? Now, wait, hold on, why the fuck is Simon spazzing out like that? It's prob it probably has something to do with the emulator. And, well, not so much the emulator, but the controller I've got. I am supposed to climb up these blocks, right? Um... Right? I feel like I should be uh, have to climb up these blocks. I'm running out of time here, though. I... F I'm not quite sure. I'm not entirely sure. Come on, hurry up. I think I go right next. Let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now these spikes are Mega Man instant kill, I remember, if I remember correctly. So... Oh, and there's a boss after this too, shit. Yeah, as long as you hold right there, you can't really die, so... Yeah, yeah, there's a boss after this, there's a giant golem thing. Fuck. If I remember correctly, spamming axes at it will lead to its death. It's pretty quick and uh, a pretty quick and uh, a pretty quick and easy death. So, yeah, just spam axes at it. Because sub weapons in uh, Castlevania 4 are totally useless. Okay, yeah, um, I should probably stop with that while I'm ahead. Yeah, if I remember correctly, all I have to do is spam axes at this fucking thing. Like, yeah. It's the same sort of deal as the other guy. Spam axes while uh, shooting up to do while dodging blocks. Not that bad. Yeah, see? Totally useless. Oh, fuck. Come on, die already. Oh yeah, there, there's, a, there's an annoying flash of light every time you... Um, Hit him though, but other than that, it, it's not so bad. OH GOD DAMN IT! GOD DAMN IT, I WON! I WON! 
You can't fool me, game. I beat you. I beat you fair and square. You can't just turn around and decide, oh, no, that didn't count. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. I mean, seriously, that was just a dick move. I mean, there's sometimes where you're fair, but I- ugh. Fuck you, game. I mean, seriously. Fuck you. And now I gotta climb up. Now I gotta climb up this entire goddamn- You see, that's what makes- That's the only reason that boss is stressful, because of the fucking time limit. That's it. Now, yeah, I don't- Yeah, I, I- I should- I'm just better off climbing the things and not even bothering with what's inside the candles. That's- It's just a waste of time at that point. No, wait! Take me- Oh, god damn it! Crusher death- No! 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 I died! No! 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 <sighs> Game! You will feel my horrible raging vengeance! Yeah, once we get into Castlevania, uh, once we get into- once we get into the castle, I'm calling it quits for today, guys. Seriously, that was just... nah. But! But, 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 but. Hey, but. This level and level 5 will feel my wrath. I am not going to stop today until these levels have been beaten. Or else my name is not Ted. Eh. Yeah, let, let's kick this level's ass. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty... I've, I must have gone through these two rooms like a hundred times by this point. I hope you guys aren't sick of this. To be fair, I warned you. This was... I do suck at Castlevania 4. I will say that. I did warn you. Jump... Oh! God, God damn it! <sighs> I swear I keep pressing the jump button there. I swear. It's the fucking blocks. If I get another game over, I'm gonna have I'm gonna hit something. Ah, there we go. I've played some Castlevania games before, but I've never actually beaten one. Like I played some of Castlevania 1 and I didn't get all that far in that. And I've played some of this, and I've gotten a pretty decent ways, but I've never actually beaten the game before. That's, uh, so I am by no means an expert in this series, and I'm not good at it. To, uh, I'm not even any, really any good at it, so. You know, this is more of a noob, this is more of a noob playthrough of Castlevania 4, so. If you are expecting something experienced or good, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to pass on that one. Or, well, I'm just not going to be able to supply it for you. I don't have a PlayStation, so I've never played Symphony of the Night. Ow. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. This is the easiest way to beat the boss, to stand in the left and shoot up. He always jumps to the left, doesn't he? Huh. Emulator? PS1 emulators run like shit. And besides, if I, I uh, uh, even though I'm playing this on an emulator right now, I do actually own a copy of the game. I'm... I'm very hesitant to use emu emulators uh, for stuff like this. If I can pay for it, I usually will. But it's just... It, Symphony... The Metroidvanias never really had much of it. I never really had much of an interest in them. Because I like my games to have a lot of direction. And it seems like, uh, from what I've seen of Symphony of the Night, it has less direction than even like Super Metroid does. So... I've never been much interested in, uh, in, uh, the Metroidvania Castlevania games. I like my games, I, I don't mind a non-linear, I don't like, I don't mind a non-linear, I don't mind a non-linearity aspect of games, but there has to be direction, first and foremost. I have to know exactly where I'm supposed to go, and going around and exploring other things has to be my decision. That's, that's basically my, uh, that's basically my stance on game design as a whole. Directed non-linearity is, uh, I think one of the best ways to design a game. Give, give players the option to, give players the option to explore, but if they don't want to, make it, 
clear where the next main objective lies. And I'm sure, and I know that's for, for some people, it's just a matter of taste. Like some people, I mean, for some people don't mind wandering around aimlessly, and you know that's why games like Star, uh, like uh, Skyrim and uh, Minecraft exist. But I just, for me, I don't particularly care for that. Oh, uh, 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 I survived the knockback. Only for my startled reaction to send me down the pit. Wonderful, Ted. Wonderful. <sighs> Level 4, you will be mine. <sighs> Come on, Ted, you can make it. You can kick this level's ass. I know you can. I have actually beaten this one before. Though I do remember saying that Level 3 is the part of the game where I start dying. And... Well, yeah, that proved it, because I've died more in level 4 than any other level. A Wii U games are looking forward to Rayman Legends and Pikmin 3, first and foremost. I'm not really going to talk about any other ones, because I need to see footage before I can really start getting excited. So, like, I, I know Smash 4 is like, an inevitabil is, like, an inevitability, but I still haven't seen any real... Jump! Simon! Simon! Jump! There we go. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh... Alright, oh, we get Wii U games. I know, like, stuff like Smash 4 and a new 3D Mario game are coming eventually, but I'm not gonna be- I, I can't be- I just physically can't be excited for them until I see some proof that they exist, so... Yeah, for the moment, it's just Pikmin 3 and Rayman Legends. Though that LEGO City game actually does look pretty okay, so if I get bored, I might, like, download that. But for the most part, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, Rayman Legends and Pikmin 3. Uh, no, I don't own any- I do- I do not own any pets. I'm not an animal person. Uh, my- my parents were- my parents were allergic to do uh, my mom was allergic to dog and cat fur. But the thing is, is that I, uh, even s so, I, s I just don't like animals. Stupid free lo free ro free loading some of the bitches. I don't I just I don't dislike Doctor Who, I just I don't understand it. I I really just don't understand it, so I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say a whole lot more on the subject in fear of getting owned by fanboys. It's just I don't really get the appeal of Doctor Who, so I don't watch it. Oh I mean like if you're gonna have a pet a fish is kind of a cop-out, you know? It's just like, you barely have to take care of the fucking thing. If you're gonna get a pet, get a fucking pet, not a fish. So that does, um... Remind me of a funny, uh, Brawl in the Family comic about Animal Crossing. Where a fish moves into, uh, an Animal Crossing town and everybody's fishing in the river. It's just like, why are fish the only animals that don't be become sentient in that universe? Okay, boss! You, me, showtime, now! Okay, yeah, I just need to, I need to keep my eyes on the top of the screen, which is weird, because usually in a game, in a boss fight like this, I keep my eyes on the boss, but, nope, I just gotta train myself to look forward. Yeah, I mean, look up. I, I, I could have gotten, like, four hits on him if I wasn't ain't facing the wrong way. See, like, look at, oh, oh. <sighs> 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 There we go! Finally a badass pose! Whew, that level took more time than I probably should have. I'm pretty sure that's been half of the stream just there. Just that one level. So yeah, uh, stage 5 is the last stage before we actually get into Castlevania. So I'm going to look up a, I'm gonna look up a password for stage 6 for when we start uh, up this stream next time. But, uh, this is the last level that I'm going to do. And this, this level also, it has a pretty short time limit, so you're just gonna wanna rush to the end. Uh, k just keep on moving is the biggest thing here. I think that this is the first level I actually died due to timer, uh, timer death on. So, yeah. It's very possible to, di uh, to die to the timer here, so be, be careful. I mean, I guess be careful is just a good... A uh, piece of advice anyway, like real life and games. But just uh, be move quickly is the the biggest thing here. 
This is a very good tension building piece of music too. It's not very memorable, but it does um it does build tension quite a bit, so I do like that. Uh yes, there is a timer in Castlevania 4. It's mostly just a holdover from uh, Mario 1 though. It's just like uh, 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 oh, oh god damn it. <sighs> fucking fucking <sighs> knock back. Yeah, the knockback is the biggest annoying thing in Castlevania for me. And they never get fucking rid of it. It's like the fucking, uh, it's like the fucking invisible blocks from Mega Man. Nobody likes the fucking thing. But we all, but they never get rid of it. Get, 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 uh, there we go. Come on, keep moving. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm sort of running out of things to say, but I guess that's a good, uh, I guess that's a good thing that I'm stopping the stream after I finish this level. You know, I wouldn't think that the, the, the knockback would be as bad in Symphony of the Night. Or maybe it's just not as annoying in Symphony of the Night because there's no, there's no bottomless pits to get annoyingly knocked into. I mean, I guess you could get knocked into hazards, into other enemies, but from what I hear, Castlevania 4 just isn't a- Cas Symphony of the Night just isn't as hard as Castle- as the earlier Castlevania games, so they- it's just never been as big of a deal there, I guess. No, uh, no. Bad goblin thinking. Bad. Come on, I'm pretty sure I'm at the end. Please be at the end. I am not at the end. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, wait. What the hell are you guys doing stealing my whip mojo? This is my... Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Okay, come on. Do it. Whip. There we go. Whip, whip. Okay, now whip, whip. I, I hit you. Okay. Oh, I killed that fucking bat. I hit it with the whip. How much does it? How much more do you want from me, game? I mean, seriously. At least uh, coming into the room. Uh, at least coming into the room again gives me more. T uh, dying in the room gives me more time. Come on. Okay. Yep. This is this is the beginning of uh, Castlevania's uh, castle or Dracula's castle, Castlevania. Anyway, we. Yeah, see, this is this is the final stretch to the end of the game. So, um, I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a game right here, just cause you know it's just it, it's pretty much just this is the end. So, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Uh, en I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, if you're, if you, uh, oh wait, hold on, more of this. We, woo. Um, if you guys are watching this on the playback on YouTube, uh, be sure to subscribe to my Twitter feed, because then you'll actually know when the uh, streams are going to happen live, and you can watch them live. So, yeah, I always announce the streams on Twitter. But anyway, uh, everybody who's been here live, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to end the stream now, and maybe some other time we can pick up with more Castlevania 4. But until then...